What's going on guys and welcome to this video. As always, you can see a quick shot of all the groceries and the meals. And then also in the description, you're gonna find a full list of the groceries as well as a meal breakdown. This week, I decided to prep some turkey and ground beef meatloaf with chipotle red potatoes and then pan seared asparagus. Super simple, but I'm gonna start off by rinsing the red potatoes, getting in dirt and whatnot off of them. And then just cut the red potatoes up into smaller pieces or chunks you know you just want to make them about the same size each so that they cook evenly if you you know leave some bigger than others you might uh, they might not be cooked all the way through when you're done so just try to cut them all about the same size and then I'm going to season them very simply with some extra virgin olive oil and I'm also going to use salt pepper and then the chipotle flavor god seasoning so Again, I say this in about all of my preps, the seasonings and stuff like that, marinades, that's all up to you guys. You can add additional things. You can add different ones. That's up to you. These are just the ones I went with. I enjoy them. I think they taste delicious, so you should give it a try. But then I'm just going to mix these all together. Again, coating everything. Each little piece of potato needs to be coated for maximum deliciousness. Then there they are, all done. I'm going to throw these in the oven at 400 degrees for about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes, and then I'll broil them for about 10 minutes, which helps to add a nice little crisp on top. Then for my turkey meatloaf, I'm using two pounds of 90-10 ground sirloin and one pound of the 93-7 lean ground turkey. Then I'm gonna grab my onion, cut the ends off, and peel the outer peel, <laughs> peel the outer, outer peel off of it, and then you wanna cut it in half, and again, just kinda cut it into smaller, finely diced pieces. Once you have that done, just go ahead and add the entire onion to the ground turkey and ground beef. Now I'm going to add the, you know, you would normally add breadcrumbs here, but I make it healthier and I use oats. So I have some old fashioned oats, Quaker oats, and I'm going to add a cup and a third to my Kasori uh, blender, personal blender. And then I'm going to just grind these up into like a, almost like a breading. Once it's all ground up and looking something like this, we're gonna go back and add some seasonings. So I'm gonna add some extra virgin olive oil. I'm going to add the entire ground oatmeal, or ground oats, I should say. Then I'm gonna add some sea salt and pepper. Again, just simple seasonings. That's what I like. Don't judge. Then you're just gonna wanna mix all of this together really well, like really get in there. Get your hands dirty. After I have it all mixed together, I'm just gonna pat it down or make sure that it's it's separated throughout my pan evenly, again, so that it cooks evenly. Then I'm going to bake it at 400 degrees for about 45 to 50 minutes. There should be no pink when you cut it open. And that's the meatloaf. Then we're gonna move on to the asparagus. So you can make asparagus several different ways. I just made it pan seared this week because I enjoy it that way. Uh, just rinse it off. Then you wanna cut the tips off I like to cut it down the middle just so it fits in my skillet better uh, you know, for cooking. Then I'm gonna add some extra virgin olive oil. People always get on me like, why do you always use extra virgin olive oil? Cause I like it, all right? But then I'm gonna add some minced garlic and again, my sea salt and pepper. I keep things basic in here, but it tastes good. Like I like the flavor that you know the food has. I don't need to add a bunch of additional seasonings and, and flavorings a lot of times. Like I just like the way asparagus tastes. Then I'm gonna add the asparagus to my cooking skillet. It's set to a medium high heat and I'm gonna cook it for about 10 to 12 minutes. And then it is done and then it's time to package these meals up. As always in the description, you're going to again find a full breakdown of the protein, carbs and fats and total calories for each meal or for this meal and then the ounces and the grams. But just so that you know, I can just tell you, the meal is 170 grams of the red potatoes, 11 ounces of the meatloaf, and then one to one and a half cups of the asparagus. And I weigh them out cooked, it's just easier. And I use my fitness pal to calculate all the macros, so it might not be 100% perfect, but it is gonna be very, very, 
very close. And to answer some of those frequently asked questions that I get, you know, I store these meals once they're done, they're getting stored in the fridge for about five to six days. I will reheat them in the microwave and I think that pretty much covers it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave feedback, let me know what you guys thought. And as always, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for videos like this. And I'm out.